In this tutorial, we're going to look at customizing the banner that is displayed uh, when Spring Boot starts up. So if you don't know, uh, Spring Boot 1.3.0 was released last week. Uh, and one of the absolute mission critical items, I kid you not, the very important part of this release was the ability to display color banners. Okay, so maybe not mission critical, but pretty cool. Um, uh, we could already kind of customize the banner, and I'll include these links uh, with this video, but we could already kind of customize the banner. We can use some some ASCII art and, and display that. Uh, we, can, we can include some special variables in that banner if we need to print them out. So we could do that already, but 1.3.0 gave us the ability to use uh, ANSI color codes within within our banner text. So we're going to look at not only we're going to start off by just customizing the banner the way that we could before and then we'll took, take a look at how we can in, include some ANSI color codes when customizing our banner. So let's go ahead and start a new project and I'm just going to speed this up but I'm going to create a new project that includes the web and this is going to use Spring Boot 1.3.0. So we're using IntelliJ to run this example. If you wanted to, you could actually use Spring Tool Suite. Uh, the only downside to that is you're going to need another plugin for that because by default, uh, the council doesn't display ANSI colors. So I'll include a link to that as well, but you can do it in STS. It is possible. You just need a plugin. So let's go ahead and do this first. Let's go ahead and run this application. So I'm going to go down and run. And I just want to look at something here. So when we run this and our, our run pops up here and we look at the council, um, what we're talking about here is this piece right here, this little spring ASCII art with the spring boot underneath it and then the version 1.3.0.release. And then you'll see we have our logging here and then our application started. So what we want to do is actually customize this. Let's just say we wanted to take that over and uh, display something different. Now one, you can actually turn that off in your properties file if you didn't want to see the banner text there. Or you can actually change that in the run edit configuration as well. You can hide the banner. But um, in our case, we want to actually change what is appearing there. So let's go ahead and stop this. We'll go ahead and go into source main resources and we're going to create a new file called banner.txt and if we jump back to the documentation real quick so if you create a banner.txt that'll work or you can create whatever file you want somewhere else but you'll need to update the setting banner.location so it knows where to find that banner so I have created some ASCII art real quick just using some kind of ASCII art generator on the web and we're just going to include that. So that's our new banner and this is what we want to display instead of the spring logo. So let's go ahead and run this again. And now you'll see we have that uh, custom banner being displayed. Now the one thing we are missing though is some information about this application. So if we jump back, uh, we can see that we have these variables that are available to us. So we can use them to display uh, stuff about uh, our application that's running. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go back to our banner. So let's go ahead and stop this. and. Let's just say the Vega banner app. And then I'm going to just include this variable spring-boot.formatted version. 
So this will output the v.3.1.3.0.release. dot three dot one dot three dot zero So let's go ahead and run that again. And now we should see the banner along with that information there. So that's good. So so far it's doing exactly what we want to do. Now we're back in the documentation here and we have some new information in here for using the ANSI properties here. So we can use things like ANSI color.name or ANSI background.name. So we're just going to take a look at a simple example of using some colors in our banner. So let's look at a very simple example and then we'll try to replicate the one that was in the uh, Spring Boot 1.3.0 release notes. So let's get rid of this and just paste in some info here. So we're using some variables here. So this is ANSI.red, uh, bright green, yellow, and let's just go ahead and rerun this. So now we're not displaying a logo, but we are getting some colors here. So this is red, this is green, this is bright yellow. And those colors are actually coming from a file here, and I'll link to this as well. And so we can see we have things like we're uh, red or bright green or bright yellow. And so this is the ANSI color that is being uh, pulled in that situation. We also have uh, the raw. We can have we have the source code for the example that is in the release notes. So here's our example and here's the code for that so let's actually go ahead and pull that code and come back in and let's go ahead and run this example so there is that really nice bright all these different colors in the logo or the display art um, and then we have our information about our application below that as well. So as you can see, it's really easy to customize the banner that gets displayed in the console there. And with the release of 1.3, uh, we have some other options for including colors, whether it's in text or in the form of graphics. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.